Hello, my name is Miki Markovich. I'm the Global Tech Support Director at Rosa Security Product. And welcome to another recorded webinar. On today's webinar on BLE application, we will review the roster BLE ID application, the roster BLE admin application, the big converter tool, the supported readers, and of course, as always, a live demo that will show you all the compatibilities of the, of the different applications. BLE applications also provide two BLE, two Bluetooth mobile applications to use with the roster BLE Smart, UHS Smart, readers and by thousand terminals. The BLE ID is a mobile credential application and the BLE admin is a reader configuration application that used to configure the reader. The application is available for both iOS and Android devices on Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Supported readers terminal. The BLE applications support the following host of BLE Smart, UHS Smart readers, and Bionic terminals. AYH6355BT, CSN Smart Readers with a keypad. AYH6255BT, CSN Smart Reader. AYU920PT, UHS Smart Long Range Reader, 12 meters for UHF. AYU915BT, UHS Smart Long Range Reader, 46 meters. For the biometric terminals of the Bionic 1000 series, the BLE ID and BLE admin support the following devices AYB 9150BT, AYB 9120BT, and AYB 9250BT. If you want to know more about the devices, you can view other webinars recorded on WASA YouTube channels under webinars playlist. BLE ID, the BLE ID is using the Bluetooth technology. So the app creates a smartphone credential that offer extension of convenience and range up to 12 meters, adjustable. When use the BLA smart, you're just smart readers and by on a terminal. Credential is a unique ID generated on the mobile device. Each credential is a unique per application on the device. The BLA ID can be sent via email, if you have an email account set on the device. It also provides an, an NFC credential on support under devices. It provides additional credential for multi-factor authentication in case you're using multi-factor authentication. If you're supported controllers like the access engine controllers, you can hide devices from the application. So those devices will not be shown. You can adjust the range of the application from the devices. So only devices in a certain range will be shown. And the application is free of charge using the BLE application. So you open the BLE ID application. The application will start look for available device on the range sets. Once devices are found, you can locate the reader you would like to access. You hit press the reader from the list. You can see the background will become gray. And once the idea is transmitted, you will get approval and you can access the door if your connection is valid. Also what you can see on the devices that we have two color segments on the devices. One is green for CSN Smart and UHF Smart Readers, and the other is red for Bio 9000 terminals. For the BLE Admin, the BLE Admin is a unique local mobile administration tool. It's a tool that you will use to configure all the devices. All the devices configuration is available via the BLE Admin, simply, fast, you don't need any external software. Also, the range is adjustment. You can adjust the range on the device. And it's a paid application, so you will need to pay for the application. The available configuration is available for each 
as different devices. For the CSN smart devices, only door name and reader password is available. For the UHS smart devices, a full reader configuration is available, as I will show on the live demo. All the configuration is available for the reader. And for the biometric devices, the IP addresses, the WIGAN, and the working mode is available. B converter tool, it's a small PC tool that allows you to convert the ID generated by the application to a standard WIGAN format that you can type or copy to any access control platform like Access NG. It supports both BLEID and NFC ID and supports the following WIGAN formats, 26-bit, 32-bit, 34-bit, 40-bit, 56-bit, and 64-bit. Now we will go to the live demo. Now we are on the live demo. As you can see on the screen, you can see my mobile phone, I will open the BLAID application first, and we will start from the BLAID. As you can see, we can see the list of the devices available on, on my area. I have one by 1,000 devices. I have two readers, one CSN Smart, the other is UHS Smart. And you can see by the names that we have here, that we have a 920, an AYB 9250, and a reader, CSL Smart called demo case. If I want to access any one of the devices, I will just press it. And you can see request sent and the reader is beeping. The same for the 920. What other options I have on the BLE ID? As I told you, under info, you will see your BLE ID and NFC ID. Of course, NFC ID is only available for supported Android devices. You can send it via email, just select requested email application and it will be sent out. You can, under devices, you can select a device to be hidden. Just mark the hide mark and click update. Once updated, device is hidden and on the next refresh of the application, the device will be gone. As you see, devices completely disappear. Even if I will totally close the application, you can see the device is not showing up anymore. To unhide the device, go again to devices, show hidden devices, and unhide a device. Click in update and the device will be back on. In addition, you can add special tags on the device. So you will have this information under the devices. So you can see the tags are marked over here. Test test. This is the two tags I added. Under settings, I can set the range of, of the application. So we have far, medium, and close. This range is based on the device RSSI. So far, only devices with RSSI that is really low. Medium, medium RSSI level. And close, only the highest RSSI devices are available. I can change the application language from the supported languages. And that's all for the BLEID application. Let's go to the BLE admin and see what the options are added on the BLE admin. On the BLE ID, again, you can see the color segment of each reader. Green for CSN Smart, UHS Smart, and red for Bion 1000 terminals. Under info, I can see the BLE ID and NFC ID. By default, the NFC service is closed on the, is shut down on the BLE admin application. You can activate under settings. So under settings, I have the range. There is the range is exactly the same as the BLE ID. Languages again same as the BLE ID, and NFC setting can be enabled or disabled the NFC for the BLE admin. 
the reason the NFC is disabled on the BLAB, otherwise we have a collusion between the BLAB and the BLAID if we install all the same devices. For the setting, let's go device by device and show the, the setting. I will go from CSN smart, Byron Thousand Terminal, and you're just smart. So first of all, I will need to trick my, enter my password. The default password is one, two, eight, for UHS Smart and CSN Smart. Click Login, and I will get to the settings screen if my password is correct. I can identify the reader. The reader will beep for about 10 seconds. In this case, if you need to identify a reader, following a bunch of readers in the same area. On the CSN Smart, I can only change the reader name. This is the display name of the reader on the application. And that's all. Let's go back to the reader list and go to the Bio 9000 terminal. So the password of the Bio 9000 terminal, the default password is four times nine. Of course, I'd be recommended to change the password after the first time use, as can be changed following the device. We can identify the reader, same as other reader, just identify. And the reader, in this case, the terminal will give me wrong identification. I can change the reader name. And I can change the password. Current password, your password. I will change the password just for the And if okay, the password will be updated. The read after reset up, after password update, the Bion 1000 devices will be reset. So let's see if the password is updated. And you see the password was updated and I can access the device. Under configuration, I can see that I can set the terminal IP address the port, the subnet mask, the server IP. This is the server IP for either Access Energy Server or Binary Thousand uh, Manager Software. The Wigan Output Format, the Wigan Mode, if it will output the user ID or the card ID. Live Fingerprint Detection room Mode and DHCP for IP addresses. We recommend to use static IPs always. Clicking update will send the new configuration to the reader. Our last reader is the AYU920, UHS Smart Reader. I will click setting. Again, the default password is 128. Click login. Identify reader name and password exactly the same like all other readers. But under configuration, I have much more configuration that detail is explained in the manual, but, it, but you can see that the red activation, the UHF functionality, if I want to turn off the UHF, uh, OSDP address, tag mode, single, multiple tag mode, reading mode, etc., etc. And this is all the available information on the BD admin. Now we will review the, B, the app ID, B converter converting tool. This is a mail sent out from the application to my own email, as you can see. On the email, I can see BLA ID, NFC ID, copying an ID to the converter. You can see if it's a BLA or NFC, we can select the Wigan output and click calculate. Calculate will show me the ID. I can play with the Wigan ID and see different IDs coming. That's all for the live demo. And let's summarize what we had today. So we watched the BLE use case and how to use the BLE ID application. We watched which configuration and what is the options of the BLE admin and the big converter tool. Thank you for being with me today on this recorded webinar. 
I was Mickey Markovich, and you're more than welcome to go in our support portal at support.rosselsecurity.com. And if you have any questions, you can email us at support.rosselsecurity.com. At